So this is the current state of the uh, living room. Somewhere in here, there's a little baby mouse. And I just had him, and then he jumped out of my little box there. I'm gonna find him. It's a little tiny baby mouse, which doesn't bother me at all, but I wanna catch him. Where did you go? I just had him, and then he disappeared. He's real sneaky. I'm gonna find him again. Yo, this mouse is the best hide and seek player I've ever seen in my life. I put the couches on their ends so he can't go underneath them anymore. I already checked out a fireplace. I checked every, where did he go? I've gone through everything. The last place I saw him was under this and I pulled it out and he was just gone. And I pulled the drawers out and he's not into the drawers. Where did you go? He's good, he's real good. I'm gonna find him though. All right, well, I give up. I have no idea where the mouse went to. We will deal with that later and it's raining. Lovely. So the original plan for today was to pull Miley out, do a quick once over on the car. Cause if you didn't see yesterday's video, we did um, a little bit of off-roading, just, just a little bit, but the car drove home, no problem. It's not pulling left to right. I don't think anything really got broken. Maybe one tab on that vent, but overall the car does seem good to go. I do want to get under the car and make sure, but it drove home no problem, so I think we're gonna be okay. But instead of messing with this car today, Martin's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. We're doing the brake lines for the Savoy today. What is going on? It was just sunny. What is this? Like there's a whole waterfall right there coming down. All right, Germany. I think it was Friday, but I came in here and I cleaned everything out. It was a uh, it was a mess in here. So I put some parts back on the Mark IV here just to get them out of the way. The wheels are back on, the fenders are back on. Got all the wood pieces out of the way. Yeah, it was just, it was getting me. So today we're working on this Savoy some more. We have the non-ABS booster in. Well, not fully, but it's roughly in place. We have the non-ABS lines for the front, this one and this one right here. The plan for today, I believe, is we're gonna be bending these ABS brake lines to fit there and there because the normal fitment on this one is much different than the fitment on the non-ABS one. So Martin's bringing over his pipe bending tool and we're going ahead and bend these all fancy like and make these fit to here. Yo, it is pouring today. I have a lake, <laughs> I have a whole lake and it's flooding the garage. Hopefully this drain over here is not clogged, which I don't think it is. Yeah, whenever you wanted to stop with this, that'd be fine with me. I think Martin's here. Why did you order any infantry weather for me? <laughs> right? I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't choose this, but out of nowhere, too, it's pouring. Oh. So you have the uh, pipe bending tool? Yes, yeah, so I have the pen, pipe bending tool, and I got also... More, pi more pipe. More pipe, new pipe. Cool. Awesome, yeah. man. Well, we can do a new one. So we've got the bending tool here, some new fittings if we need to cut it somewhere, and then we're bending. We're probably going to make new ones for the front. And I have these ones, but we, he brought new. So we can make new ones for the front and then hopefully bend the rears so they look good and actually fit up to there. And I think one of those ones has a bigger fitting. So we might have to put a smaller, like uh, 10 mil one, make it fit right, but it should work out. Can't remember which one it was. I think it was that one. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. One. So that's the, the 12. So most, all the Mark 3s have the smaller 10 mil one. And with the ABS, you have one large one. So this one we need to cut, put this smaller size fitting on, that way it fits into there, because all of these ones are the same smaller size. So if we come over here, because Miley has the non-ABS booster, you can see the front two lines there and how the back ones kind of just swoop down on both sides. So that's pretty much the look we're going for. Something similar to that. That tool's pretty cool. Yeah, I got another one, but I found that, I didn't found that. But I think we can use that. Yeah. So right now he's just kind of straightening both lines all the way out. And now we're making the adjustments to bend it to fit right back over there. First I tried to straighten them. Yeah. To see where the bend should go. Yeah, with when where we should bend it. So probably I cut it here and did uh, a new thing for the... A new fitting? The fitting, yeah. Okay. I think that will work. So thankfully these rear lines are both in good condition, so we don't worry about changing them. 
Um, and doing it this way will take a lot of time versus having to pull all the brake lines out from under the car, get a new set that goes through, which would take forever. Um, it's doable, but if we can just bend them, make a small cut, that's much, much easier. Should you just keep spinning it until it, comes, it cuts through? Yeah, this works. Very cool. That way you don't actually crush the line itself and it cuts it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Very cool. You just add a pressure little by little. Got it. Just like that. So now we have a undestroyed brake line. I can now flare that out once the new um, fitting is on. So this kit here is for flaring it back out? Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. so got another cutter, and then this is like, I guess, the gauge size. So you can see we have the new fitting going on. And you're trying to find the right size for the pipe now, right? Yeah. Gotcha. So, nice new fitting right there, you can see. Got and then we just need the right size for this to flare it back out so this can't slide over the end anymore. Yeah. Like how these ones here are flared out with the OEM style ones, you can see. So now I have to do a little bit of adjustment. This should be good to go. So that just, this just holds the line, correct? Yeah, this holds the line. But and the, then that tool over there is what presses it down into there? Yes. Okay. So I'll fit in just like so. I see. And then you just okay. press, it, press it down. Okay, I think it works. You put that on there real tight. <laughs> real tight, yes. <laughs> okay. Good? Looks good. Look at that. Nice. Very nicely done. Yes. Okay, as you can see. Nice. It's done. So, then we have a nice new fitting. It's all flared out perfectly. And you also cut off about, what, an inch or so? What? How much did you cut off? About an inch? That piece over there? Inch and a half or no, so? No, not very much. Yeah, just a little bit off the top. So now when we bend this, it'll fit right to there and there will be too much excess over here. Yeah. That's close. Get it. Very nice. Bam. So this is the much larger off fitting here you can see compared to the much smaller one so this has not been cut off the right side here is all done and now we're going ahead and start bending the left side and then we'll go through and swap in one of these smaller fittings for that one as well That'll actually look pretty cool. So you can see? Yeah, I like that a lot. So this one is basically how the normal non-ABS one is, but then we're gonna have it come side by side right here up, make like a 90 and then another loop to that side. That looks pretty cool, I like that. Bam. 
number two done. Just one more, one or two more little bends and then all done. Yeah. yeah, this tool is really, really cool. I'm just kind of sitting back watching you do this. Yeah, but this is one of the cheapest tools you can buy for this. Yeah. Normally you can buy tools for about 200 to 250 yeah. euros. But that is just for the hobby. Yeah, no, it works really well. I mean, yeah. you did that in what, like five minutes maybe? Yeah, I did a lot of brake lines with it. <laughs> yeah. Whenever Martin comes over, I learned a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I've been kind of just like watching as he does it. So let me think about that. Help. Second line is just about fit. Kind of a front angle here. And then once both the lines are in, we can kind of fine tune uh, the shapes. But I like it. If it works and it's functional, I'm happy with it. All right, so both lines are in. You can kind of see how they run. We're just adding some fine tuning. But overall, I mean, it looks pretty cool. And it's functional, so. For like, I don't know, 10 minutes of work, that looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay. I think this will work. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, functional, if it works, it works. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go back and do these brake lines in maybe a wrinkle black or like a gloss black and just clean up a little bit. But for 10 minutes of work and for bending some old brake lines, these things actually came out pretty cool. I like how they uh they run like that. Like I said, on the normal one, it's like a swoop and a swoop, but this one's got a cool little 90 down here and I like it. So a little different. There goes Mr. Martin. Such a nice guy. He always helps me out with like such cool little things. And I learned so much from him. So our brake lines are now done. I have said the front ones are already ready to go. So he said these ones look to be in good shape, so no need to redo them. So front ones are good, rear ones are now in place until I go ahead and pull them back out to paint them or whatever I do with them. So we've now gone from this massive uh, ABS system here, which honestly, this thing is about, I would say 20, 25 pounds. It's a hefty unit. So we definitely lost some weight swapping this out to now our much cleaner non-ABS setup. I just like how the lines look better and just the whole thing looks a lot cleaner. So very, very happy to go from this giant thing to now this. Ooh, taking the good old R32 for a quick little rip. So currently we are on our way to Cody's house. He has that silver Mark for 1.8T. Super loud car, it's pretty cool. It's actually really fast as well. Um, but he's currently getting ready to PCS back to the States and leave Germany. And usually whenever the car guys out here in Germany leave back to the States, they sell all their cleaning stuff and whatever they have. So we're gonna go pick up some stuff at his house right now. This weather is absolute trash. And it reminds me that in not too long, it'll be winter time again and cold and raining like this every single day. And I'm just, ah, I'm not looking forward to it. sweet little things yo those are actually sick like that's a cool car there's the good old mark 4 these brakes be squeaky right now yeah so uh <laughs> shout out to cody for all the awesome stuff and there's so much cleaning stuff in here there's clay bars we got coolant there's like winter washer fluid there's mother stuff back there i mean we got like <laughs> so much stuff brake cleaner rain x oh yeah I love having all this kind of stuff, so very cool of him. So much stuff in here. That's awesome. And we also got this cool little craftsman box. It's empty, but still cool to have. I love planes. Home sweet home. I think enough for the day. This rain today just made me like feel super, super tired. Big thank you to my guy Martin for the help with the brake lines and also shout out to Cody for the cool stuff we picked up. That is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Poops. Quick little extra here. Finally found little Mousy. He's right there under the mouse. You can kind of see him right there. He's a little nosy. Super, super small. I don't know how in the world he managed to jump up and over the sledge and get here, but you can see it there. Here, look that mouse a little bit. He might jump out, but be careful. Okay. Oh, jump out, see you there. Gosh. Little Houdini. So, the mouse has been found. There you go, go. 
your ending update. <laughs>